Well, guys, you talk about young, inexperienced teams needing to learn how to win. I don't know if you could draw up a better example than that brutal sequence by the Panthers there in that in that final possession. Yeah, tough for Bryce Young and Dave Canales in particular to swallow, especially considering the success they had on the offensive end on their late drives against Kansas City and Tampa Bay, looking for that signature win. It's one of the things that the guys talked to us the other day about is we're starting to get a better sense of how to do it, but haven't seen it in a signature moment to try to win a game just yet. And they're really coming down to these critical moments and making crucial errors, whether it's the delay of game, uh, some drop passes, I mean, when Bryce Young dissects a defense like that, gets C.J. Gardner-Johnson to bite on an underneath route and rips that post, you got to find a way to come down with that, even if you're a rookie in Leggett. I mean, that's a game winner right there. And until they start making those plays, they're going to be on the losing side of these games. Does it speak to the season that Saquon Barkley's having that this felt like a quiet game for him, and then I look up at the end of this thing, and he's got 124, and he sets the franchise record? Yeah, how about it, right? I mean, but this is how they've done it methodically over the course of the season. They grind you out. Mark said it very aptly, I thought. You said, what, the second and third quarter runs are like body blows, and then typically in the fourth quarter they become knockout punches. Exactly right, and he sneaks up on teams. His yards start to accumulate, and just as you mentioned, Dave, as soon as you look at the scoreboard and the stat sheet at the end of the game, it's, wow, this guy went for over 100 again. And I think a lot of that was due to the first half. I mean, Jalen Hurts was a little off in the passing game. It didn't look precise. He was a little hesitant to cut the ball loose a couple times when I think he had some open receivers. And so when that's happening, Kellen Moore knows, hey, let's lean on the run game. Let's let Saquon Barkley take us to victory. We were a little surprised, Dave, I think maybe late in the game that Barkley wasn't getting as many carries because we saw it against Baltimore last week. We've yeah. seen a handful of times this year, right? He gets the closing touchdown. He had one in the fourth quarter last week. They kind of got away from the run game on some risky play calls and some risky plays, but they're able to get away with it because of how effective their defense was making the big play late. A little more stressful than what we've been used to from the yeah. Eagles over the last six weeks, but hey, we're not complaining about that. Entertainment continues to follow y'all wherever you go. Adam and Mark, <laughs> I, I appreciate it, guys. Take care. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you.